some of you are watching me right now you are going through a lot of things in your life you are you are going through a lot of shame and reproach and uh things are not working out you have tried so many things you have been waiting for so long and things are not working out now i have a solution for you after you have done watching this video and you practice what i've taught you i know things will begin you'll begin to see changes in your life rapid changes i'm telling you this thing because I, it has worked for me and it has worked for many people i've come across with i've seen their lives transformed i've seen their lives turn around after they did what i'm about to tell you to do right now shame and reproach is not your portion nothing is working you don't have money you are struggling you are begging you know no shame. The Bible said the voice of a poor man cannot be heard. His wisdom is despised. Shame, one of the things which the enemy uses to tie destiny down is poverty. Because if you are broke, you cannot achieve your destiny. You can't, you can't do anything. You can't run any projects. You, nothing, nothing is doable without money. You'll be stagnated. The good thing with money, money gives you speed. You are able to accomplish what God has, has uh, ordained you to accomplish. Now, lack of money brings you to shame because you borrow, you you lack, you know, you can't put on nice clothes, you don't live in a good house, you know, you don't, you are not able to afford basic needs. Basically, you are living in shame and reproach. And this video is for you. Today marks the end of the shame and reproach in your life. After watching this video, I know your life will never be the same again. I'm going to show you how to end the shame and reproach in your life permanently. Anywhere they have taken your name to, anywhere they have tried to do anything to bring about shame and reproach in your life, the end has come today. After watching this video, your life will never be the same again. Watch this video to the end. Now my supporters, thank you for tuning in again. This is Cleophas Wanyama Ministries, Cleo Rhythm. An online Christian media where we travel the world to give you local and international Christian news, interviews, commentaries, Bible-based teachings, and gospel music. If you want to donate and support us financially, please kindly use the information on the screen. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share to make a global impact. Let's dive into today's powerful message. Alright, shame and reproach. Shame is very bad. Living in shame is so embarrassing. You might be living in shame right now, but today is the dawn of a new day. Now, I want to talk about the gates of your life. No, there are gates, there are gates, the five gates of your star. There's a five, I've talked about the five gates of your star. Go and check the video in this channel. The five gates of your destiny or the five gates of your star. The five star gates. Now, these are entry points of your life. For instance, the head the brain is to process information. The heart is to pump blood. The, the lungs is to pump air. The stomach is for digestion. The liver, the kidneys, every body part has its own function. The same way we have body parts which play a role in the realm of the spirit. Now, in, for instance, your head is a place of glory. Your glory is in your head. That's why with the Bible says you'll be given crown of glory. Crown of glory is on your head. When you are crowned, they don't crown you on your back or in your on your shoulder. They crown you on your head. So it's very important for you to understand these things. The glory of God is seated in your head. So when somebody takes your hair, shaves your hair, or does something to your head, they are taking, they are doing anything which tampers with your glory. Now, when your glory is tampered with, you don't have visibility. People don't see you. You don't have favor. You have rejection. People reject you. You become stagnant. Nothing works for you. You don't attract anybody. People don't see your value. You might be a victim of this as I'm talking to you right now. Now, your right hand is a place of strength. Oh, uh, strength, long life, divine protection. So if you find yourself you are weak, every time you are weak, you are sickly, if the right hand is the place of strength, long life, divine protection. The left hand is always the, the place of, of uh, riches and honor. Proverbs 13, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. Left hand is the place of riches and honor. Riches and honor is on your left side. That's why when I usually uh, teach people how to pray for their money, pray for their finances, use your left hand. Because the left hand is the gate of riches. When riches come into your life spiritually, they pass through the gate, the gate of the left hand. Now, your feet 
is a place of progress where you possess possessions you take over territories is a place whereby you know advancement in life so if you find yourself you are stagnated something has been done to your feet that's why you find that witches and wizards they like to collect the ground where you have stepped on where you have stepped on they collect the ground they collect the sound the sand and they go to bewitch once they do that they know they are able to stagnate you through that gate they are able to stagnate you and to give an example when 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 moses appeared in the burning bush god told moses to remove his feet now i had to understand that where moses was it was a bush there's nothing clean with the bush you cannot remove your shoes in the bush the bush is and there's that maybe even probably animals had feces there had uh, had defecated there there were feces there it was a bush how do you remove your shoes in a bush it doesn't make sense you remove your shoes when you're entering in a clean place but there are most of standing before a bush i god say remove your feet you people just read stories but behind those stories there are mysteries what what god needed to do is to impart power through moses feet so that he could be able to stand before pharaoh moses was receiving impartation through his feet say remove your shoes because you stand in your own ground say moses remove your shoes i want to deposit something in you so that you can be able to stand before pharaoh moses was being initiated into god without knowing yes he was being initiated into god that's why even jesus washed the feet of his disciple god jesus was releasing some confidence boldness in them that's why they were able to preach the gospel with so much boldness the feet the feet the feet so that you know, doesn't find moses was able to achieve the his assignment of delivering the egyptians uh, of the israelites out, out of the egyptian bondage why because his feet was imparted in the burning bush understand so you find when you are living in shame and reproach these areas these areas have been tampered with I, again back to the feet why witches love the feet because they know that once they do something to your feet you will never progress in life feet represents movement you will never move forward you will always be stagnated you will not progress in life you will not move you will just be like you know zero grazing mark timing you will always be stagnated financially spiritually or otherwise so it's important for you to know these things so you find that now these gates of the body these are the gates which the enemy likes to attack some of you you have been shaved in the dream or you woke up and find a part of the hair is not there some they like to take your nails your nails because they they know these are access points when they get these areas they can access your life these are these these areas rep represents value in your life your hand represents your glory your right hand represents power your left hand represents riches and glory understand so if you find yourself living in shame these areas have been tampered with and listen they they they, they don't necessarily need to get your nails physically they don't necessarily need to get your hair physically there's something they can do to get access to you spiritually in the realm of the spirit and tamper with these areas that's why you find even when jesus was there, jesus was, was crucified these areas were affected there was a thorn of of uh, of uh, of uh, a crown of thorn on his head nailed on his hands his feet and a spear in his side why because these are the most important parts of a human being spiritually that's why paul also says put on the whole armor of god these parts are important these are the areas which the devil does to manipulate destinies the bible says that uh, i can't remember the verse actually he uh, he says that about joshua i see the devil standing at the right hand of joshua resisting him resisting him at the right hand there are people when they are both when they are in their deathbeds there's, there, there is there's usually an angel of death standing on the right hand trying to take them trying to snatch them away because the right hand is a place of strength and power that's why jesus did it at the right hand of the father 
So, how do you deal with shame and reproach? You deal with shame and reproach by enforcing or uh, uh, releasing the anointing upon the gates of your life. These gates, when these gates are fortified by the power of God, they begin to shine. That's why you find the moment the oil touched the head of David, David, God was set apart to be a king. Understand? The anointing breaks the yoke. David was set apart to be a king. So when these areas of your life, everything in your life revolves around these gates, these five, these five gates, your head, your hands, your feet, and your belly. I've talked about the belly in the previous video. In, in another video, you can go and watch it. About how to overcome demonic oppression. I've centered on the belly so much there. But now, here I have to talk about these other parts. Because these are what pertains to your, to your, you know, to your finances, to your visibility, to your business. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Get these powerful 3 ebooks by Clear First When Your Mouth. First one is called The Star, The Mystery Behind Extreme Success. This book gives you biblical in-depth knowledge about your destiny and how to restore it in shiny life. Get to know what God says about stars. Second ebook is called Understanding the Mystery of Times and Seasons. Here you will get to know about the calendar of heaven and the blessings of each year of your life. Third ebook is called Thrones, the spiritual powers which controls territories. This ebook talks about altars, gates, and covenants and how they affect our lands. To get these powerful three ebooks combined, donate an amount of 20 US dollars or more to support us. The ebooks will be sent to your email address upon confirmation. Kindly use the information on the screen. Don't miss out. When Adam ate of the fruit in the garden of Eden, what happened? He found himself naked. Adam was clothed with the glory of God. Adam had, you know, people say they were naked. Yes, they were naked, but there was something. They were, just, they were not just naked, naked. There was a glory which was upon them. There was a glory. Now, when they ate of the fruit, that glory left them. That's why God said, the moment you eat of this fruit, you will die. The glory left them. And they found themselves naked and they were hiding. Why? Because their star was stolen. Adam began to live this, the life of shame and reproach. Some of you, you may be wearing clothes, but spiritually you are naked. Because the gates of your life have been exposed. When these gates are exposed, you are prone to demonic attacks. You are prone to sicknesses. You are prone to destiny manipulation. Adam ate of the foot, found himself naked. The gates of his body were exposed. And these are the gates of your body today which you need to fortify by the anointing of God. Releasing the glory of God on these gates of your body, you begin to see things begin to work for you. That's why I usually tell people, when you are praying for your star, anoint your head, anoint your hands, anoint your feet, and even your belly. So that you can restore the glory of God in this area. So when you anoint this area, anything which when you are going to ahead, anything which deals with your glory, visibility, the favor, God is restoring it back. The anointing breaks the yoke. We have anointing oil here in this ministry. God has given us a mandate to have this anointing oil. It's called anointing glory oil. This anointing will bring back your destiny. Will bring back your glory. Anything which the enemy has stolen from you. When you use this anointing oil to anoint the gates of your life, God will bring a restoration. Why? Because this is a mandate which has been given to me. This is a divine mandate God has given to me. And when God gives you a mandate, he equips you to fulfill that mandate. Use this oil and I'm telling you, your life will never be the same again. I have testimonies of people who had a turnaround in their lives. There's a lady who called me and said that the boss does not like her. The boss, you know, always finds faults with her and i sent her this oil she used the oil she called me said man of god what happened i said tell me so that they, things have changed people see me in a different way people see me in a different light people suddenly they like me they listen to me you see when this oil came upon her the veil which was covering her 
was lifted and the glory of God was being manifested in her life. Try to use this oil. This oil is available. Contact us using the information popping on the screen. We can ship it to you anywhere in the world. You'll get this oil. We'll ship it to you anywhere in the world. You'll have it. All right? Yes, so one of the best ways when you are praying for your star to remove shame and reproach, take the anointing oil, anoint your healing, anoint your hair, and speak over it. Command, I say, I command my star to be restored and shining brighter and brighter before the eyes of men. Anoint your head, anoint your right hand, your left hand, and rub it in your hands, anoint the, the sole of your feet. So, anywhere you step on, even if they collect the sand, it will not work. Some of you are going to the village. You don't know who's waiting for you in the village. And you know, those village people, they are vampires. They are waiting for you to come so that they can act on you. They heard that you are, you, are, you are building. They heard that you bought a car. They heard that things are going well with you. So they are waiting. When you come, they collect where you, you step on. And they do something against so you. find things are being stagnated. When you use this oil, Anywhere you step on, even if they do anything, it will not work. In fact, it will backfire. If they try, listen, if you use this oil and they even shave you in the night, don't worry, that hair will not work. They'll try to call your name. It will go somewhere else. It won't come to you. Why? Because the anointing breaks the yoke. It will prevent you from any kind of attack. This is how you get rid of shame and reproach. Let the oil of favor come upon you. Let the oil, when the oil of favor, when the oil came upon David, the life of David changed. From a shepherd boy, he went to, you no, know, to kill Goliath. And from henceforth, he became a king. When this oil comes upon you, it will set you apart. The anointing usually sets you apart. It raises you above your peers. It makes you the head and of the tail. Above and not beneath. A seat on the hill that cannot be hidden. Get the anointing oil, anoint your head, anoint your hands, anoint your feet, and speak. Do it regularly. You will see the change which will come into your life. You will see the, the transformation. You will be shocked at what which is going to happen in your life. This is a prophetic action. Some may believe in it, some may not believe in it. But if you feel in your heart God is moving you to do this, please come and take, contact us, take this oil and try it. And you'll come and testify your life will never be the same again. I'm Clover Swanyama. See you the next video. Hello guys, I'm Cleofa Swanyama, Cleo with you. And today, I have a special announcement. Now, we have a vision of building a professional studio. Now, the studio will play a very major role in helping spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, in the studio, we'll be doing recording, live recording. We'll be recording music. We shall have worship sessions. So those of you who are at home, you will be able to tune us when you're having live worship sessions. Those who know me, for those who are following me for many years, they know that I am a gospel artist. On the night when he was crucified, and God has given me many songs. I've written many songs which needs to be recorded. And we need to have a studio of our own. That studio will be an altar dedicated unto God. Because from that studio, music will be recorded. will be impacting the world locally and internationally. Apart from that, the other use of the studio will be, will be used for recording podcasts like these ones. Recordings whereby we share the word of God, where I do my vlogs, where we do interviews, shall have visitors, and it will help to push the gospel of Jesus Christ across the globe. So it is very necessary for us to have a professional recording studio now those who are willing to help information is on the screen those who are willing to help contact me using the information on the screen and we shall send you a breakdown of the things needed and you can see how you can support us in purchasing these equipments uh, uh, in one way or another so guys we are we are looking up to you for your assistance I know God is gonna make everything possible now this recording studio it is necessary because we are living in the world whereby it is influenced by media it is influenced by music and culture and so many things so you as a church we need to have 
content, creating content for Jesus Christ. You know, entertainment is is largely used by the devil to push agenda, agendas of uh, you know same sex agendas. So many agendas are out there. But now, when we have the gospel, also when we have a platform, a creative platform whereby we can create content which is Bible-based, Christian, uplifting content to the world. We'll be able to save our children. We'll be able to save this generation which is coming because there's a lot of crap out there. So guys, if you want to support us, use the information on the screen. It's a down over a new day. Thank you for watching.